Hey! Last weekend, Ryan and I started what we're hoping is going to be a family tradition of traveling to different little towns within our state, and when I was telling Kat and Christy about it, they asked if I was going to vlog it, and I said, no, I don't have any plans to, and they both scolded me until I changed those plans, and that's what this video is. We're going to do it fly on the wall, day in the lifestyle, like I did with my last one, because I love the way that turned out, and this time I might pop in with a couple things to say here and there. I set some simple goals for each new town that we go to visit. One, eat something delicious. We definitely did that and I am still dreaming about it. Two, explore the little shops in town and maybe bring home a souvenir, which I did and I'm hoping that I can actually turn it into a family heirloom that gets passed down. So keep your eyes open for that in the video. And three, find a park for my kids to play at so I can watch my kids be kids. Cause man, it's flying by. If you've wondered why I've started to do some videos like this every once in a while, it's because when I watch YouTube videos now in the vlogging culture, there's so much manufactured excitement that I kind of just got sick of it. Not that there isn't a place for that, obviously there is, but I figured if there's a place for that, then there's a place for this too. You're welcome, honey. Yeah, the milk helped. Good. Excuse me. It's so pretty. Oh, so pretty. Thank you, honey. live I'm going to put up some really cute pictures that we took all over Paul's bow this day so go check my Instagram the links below and yes Luca does have his shirt on backwards that's how he do I love that she found a corner and immediately got lost in a book this is in the vlog so that I can have that memory
good. That bakery is incredible. If you are in Palsbo, Sloys, Sloys Bakery is a must. Nordiska. For those that don't know, I'm Norwegian, and this shop was full of things that I remember from my childhood, being around my great grandma's house and my grandmother's house and even my mom's house. But somehow in the shuffle and as time has passed, all of those things are gone now. So being in the shop was really exciting to me. I just fell in love with everything. I'm kicking myself for not getting this bracelet. Even down to the metal clasp, it totally reminds me of a traditional sweater that my Gigi, my great grandma, used to wear. These are all the things I grew up with. What a race car! I love that one. Mama, I love it. This is you if you were a boat. And it kind of looks like it's smiling. It's a friendly face, like that friendly face. Friend's sweet little country home, and I love her details. The ukuleles on the wall, the antique sofa from her grandparents, a rocking chair surrounded by piles of books. A wicker basket full of onions in the kitchen island, underneath your jar of oats, next to your cards that you've saved with some sort of hand-done little heart artwork on the wall. If I come to your house, these are the things I'm going to notice. Your charming onion a really basket. nice family. One girl and two brothers. And she was too old. Anymore. So she gave it to us, and if you want it, you can have it. Thank you. You're welcome. She can have a good home at your house. Wow, Scarlett. <laughs> wow, that is pretty <laughs> exciting, isn't it? She's beautiful. She looks almost like Georgia. Yeah, she kind of does. Yeah. Just the sound of birds chirping and children laughing.
Oh, snuggle baby.